Hello my brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope that you're all doing well. You know guys, tonight I want to share um, a message based upon testimonies of how the Lord has answered my prayer on many occasions and in a similar way. You know guys, when Moses got through, you know, the, the split sea, when, you know, Moses died at 120, 120 years old on that mountain, you know, and he could see the promised land. He didn't enter it, but he could see it. And, you know, um, obviously we know Joshua was the next one to, to lead the Hebrews into the promised land. We know Moses didn't go in because he hit that rock, you know, that was supposed to give him water. He hit it two times. He was meant to hit it once. But when Joshua, you know, um, led the Hebrews into the promised land, you know, they went out and I think it 12 of them, 12 of them, Caleb, Joshua, they went out and they scouted. They, they, they wanted to see who was in the land. And 12 of them came back and 10 of them were terrified. They said, the people in this land, they are giants. They make us look like grasshoppers. But Caleb and Joshua said that, you know, you know, the Lord, you know, is, is with us, you know, like basically why should we fear them? Now, you know, guys, many times in our life, we have a situation like this where we would rather the Lord just go before us and destroy our enemies. We would, we, we pray, Lord, you know, um, speak to this person at, at work who's giving me a hard time. So that he can knock it off, you know. Or we say, Lord, please, you know, my neighbor's doing this. Please, can you make something happen to make them stop doing this behavior? You know, or, or my partner is doing this. And God, please tell them, please speak to them. Please make them stop doing this. You know, guys, sometimes instead of just simply going you know, into the promised land and fighting the giants, knowing you're going to win because God is with you, we would rather just go and talk to the Lord about our problem. You know, guys, time and time again, I've been in situations where people at work were just, um, you know, were, were bullying me or putting it over me. I had neighbors who were disrespecting me. You know, uh, maybe they, you know, they were disrespecting me, maybe doing things that they shouldn't be doing, you know. You know, um, yeah, work sites, you know, partners even, you know, friends in the past, you know, where I just say, God, please let this person see what they're doing. You know, God, make them stop. But the more I prayed these prayers, the more times that God would actually, I believe, you know, guys, by faith, I'm speaking this. I'm not telling anyone, you know, that um, God makes us do you know risky things by yelling at someone but you know the righteous are as bold as lions you know guys and when i pray this prayer at times for neighbors people at work friends you know um who are you know using and abusing me whatever you know um a boldness will come on me and i will i will put them on the spot and i will yell at them you know and um and then then and there god shows me that you know, that he is answering my prayer by doing this. You know, guys, um, many times, you know, I've been praying about something and I've been wanting it to change at work, wanting it to change with my neighbor, wanting it to change with someone I know, you know, and, you know, God never answered the prayer until, you know, I got the boldness to go up to the person and say, hey, you're doing this, you know, you're not... You, you know, this is not on. You can't do this. You know, um, I'm a human being. You know, um, you got to treat people with respect. You know, guys. And sometimes, you know, guys, I've had to yell at people. You know, guys. At times. And, you know, it changed the situation. The neighbor stopped doing this thing that was wrong. You know, the person at work stopped, you know... Um, trying to put it over me and bully me you know um this friend would stop doing this behavior around me or whatever you know guys and at times 
You know, guys, we pray prayers like, God, make them change. God, make them know that I don't like this behavior. You know, change this person at my job who's, who's being rude to me. But many times we don't realize that it's actually up to us to go up to the person and just say, you know, so and so, you know, um, you're being rude to me at work. It's not on. You, you got to stop. Otherwise, I'm going to tell the boss, you know, and then, you know, or, you know, maybe it's a neighbor, you know, doing something that's illegal. And you're saying, hey, you know, like, you know, especially if you share um, a property with someone, you know, you say, look, you know, this, this is illegal. You can't be doing this here. You know, um, whatever, you know, standing, standing up to your boss, you know, whoever is standing up to that friend, you know, who's trying to, um, trying to get you to go out and drink and get, you know, do drugs. And you just got to, you know, you just got to get a backbone. And sometimes you, you got to be like Joshua and Caleb and say, I don't care if they're giants and we look like horse, you know, we look like, um, grasshoppers, you know, the Lord is with me, you know, the righteous are as bold as lions, you know, guys, and, um, sometimes you just got to give it to the man, you know, guys, I'm not saying that you get violent, I'm not saying that you swear at anyone, I'm just saying if someone is doing something wrong to you, trying to be rude to you, whatever, tell them, say, hey, look, you know, you can't do this to me, because, um, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's as simple as that. And I found 95% of the time things change. You know, when you confront people, you know, guys, and um, Paul, he had to rebuke people, you know, guys in the church, you know, who were practicing sin and, you know, um, you know, practicing sin and, and, and making all sorts of funny doctrines, you know, guys, and in the same way, we got to rebuke people. You know, guys, at times, you know, guys, because the righteous are as bold as lions. You know, guys, sometimes we're praying and praying for a situation to change when God is waiting for us to change the situation. You know, guys, because the fear of man is a snare. You know, guys, if God is for you, who can be against you? You know, guys, hallelujah. So that's why I'm just sharing this message. Maybe there is a, a Goliath in your life, like David and Goliath. You know, David, as a boy, could have easily said, God, you know, you've got to take care of this giant, man. This giant is mocking your name and, you know, he's gonna, uh, we're going to lose the war. But David knew his God. David knew his authority, his covenant with God. That, you know, that if he would go out there, God would back him. And we know the story of David and Goliath. In the same way, Joshua, Joshua and Caleb, they went out there and they faced their enemies and they were victorious, you know, guys. And in the same way, some of you may have a family member, may have a neighbor, may have um, someone at work, may have someone on, on the Internet, you know, guys, whoever, someone at church that you need to, you know, guys, rebuke them or you need to tell them, hey, you know, this is making me uncomfortable saying, hey, you can't speak to me like this. You know, guys, threaten to call the police. So, you know, if it's something that they're doing that's illegal towards you, like bullying you, whatever, you know, guys. Sometimes you got to send a message to someone. You know, guys, like Pharaoh, you know, guys. Um, Pharaoh was holding God's people. You know, and God sent Moses there to say, hey, let my people go, let my people go. But God... Um, Sorry, Moses hardened his, hardened his heart. You know, guys, his heart got hardened. And long story short, God had to send plague after plague after plague. And, you know, guys, the angel of death and all these things just to, just to shake Pharaoh up, to let his people go. You know, guys, in the same way, you know, guys, I'm not saying that any of you should do violence or, or sin, but... You know, guys, use your words, use your mouth, you know, guys, and depending on your situation, whether someone is physically abusing you, you're in a, an abusive relationship, you know, threaten to call the police, you know, guys. Um, you know, guys, some of you are being bullied in the workplace or being bullied at school. You know, sometimes, you know, you just have to go up to them, look them in the eyes and say, look, stop. 
You know, you just got to look at them in the eyes and tell them to stop. You know, and um, you know, go tell the teacher. You know, th t say I'm going to call the police. You know, um, you know, guys, at work. You know, guys, confront people. You know, guys, it's true that as Christians we have to be meek. We we have to have the attitude of turning the other cheek. But a point comes to it comes to a point where your prayer for asking God to change this person or to make this stop, sometimes if you use you use wisdom and just stick it to the person to say, hey look, you know, this is wrong. You know, you can't do this to me. Confront them, you know guys. The righteous are as bold as lions. You know guys. And um, this message has to be balanced. You know, guys, do not repay evil for evil, but repay good for evil. You know, love your enemies, pray for them who persecute you and, you know, misuse you. But, you know, guys, every situation is different. But it comes to a time, it comes to a point where you have to, you know, guys, speak up. You have to be bold. You know, guys, in the same way, you know, guys, the Holy Spirit gives us boldness to preach the gospel. The Holy Spirit also can answer your prayer through you by being bold towards someone. And I've experienced the boldness of the Lord in many occasions, I believe, you know, guys, where, you know, people were doing something wrong to a family member doing something wrong to someone I knew and I had to go up to them and get in their face and say hey what are you doing you know you know guys you know guys I've had to do it many times you know guys and um I'm not really that kind of a person you know in your face kind of person but you know guys it depends on the situation but this message is is for someone who you know is is being um, bullied someone who um, lives with someone or works with someone or, or is friends with someone and 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 they're trying to put it over you they're trying to use and abuse you you know guys sometimes you have to you know confront them sometimes you really have to yell at them and say hey what are you doing this is wrong you got to stop you know guys like for instance all of these you know guys communists you know stalin and hitler you know guys these army men they took out orders to to shoot people in the head and to throw them in the gas chambers you know guys now yes it's their job to obey the commands from above but you know guys what they what their conscience was telling them to say no way I'm not gonna kill these innocent people I'm not gonna put these people in a gas chamber just because someone told me to do it you know guys in the same way that's what I'm trying to say in this message sometimes you know um, you have to stand up for what is right you know guys for instance if you're walking down the street and there's a big man and he's pushing around a woman you know and the woman's getting you know pushed to the floor and you're walking and you're saying oh god please help this person please help them please help them and the holy spirit in you is actually saying no you go over there and you go and help the woman right you know guys like you know guys when stalin was in power he killed 20 million of his own people you know and they mostly just shot shot their countrymen in the head you know if that you know russian army officer is about to kill you know 20 people you know and he's praying saying you know god please let let something happen so this stops you know what a practical thing the wise thing that that office guard can do is let those 20 people go somehow and and get out of the army you know and try to escape you know guys that's the point i'm trying to make or for instance someone at school is getting bullied 
and you know guys you're just sitting there watching them getting bullied and bullied and they're crying and you're praying for them and you're saying God please you know you know stop these people bullying him or you could actually go over there and talk to the bully and say hey mate this is not on you know this is a human being you can't talk to this person like this you know guys and I understand that we were all children and when we're in school you know maybe we're not saved and there was bullying going on in the classroom you know standing up for other people and standing up for yourself do unto others as you want done to yourself but I know someone is watching this message and they're saying hey there's a giant in my life that I've been praying that God would take out or God would remove but maybe God wants to use you to get this giant out of your life you know guys and it's not it's not um it might not be a, a fun experience confronting the person who you need to confront but and it might get messy but the reality is is that when you stand up for the side of justice and truth you know guys um basically you know you're standing up for God you're standing up for what is right so you know guys that's what I'm trying to share in this message tonight you know guys some of you need to stand up to your Goliath some of you need to stand up and and really just you know um, stand up for yourself you know guys and the, the devil you know might try to say oh you know you can't say anything you can't do anything what would Jesus do you know guys I can tell you if Jesus was there he would stand up for you you know guys he would Jesus would die for you you know guys and um you know standing up for yourself you know guys is it's not a prideful thing it's you know guys and I'm you know guys obviously this needs to be put in context to your situation you know guys but the reality is is that sometimes God will answer your prayer through yourself when it comes to you know these kinds of people in life you know guys and I've seen that time and time again you know guys you'll be praying and praying for days and days about this situation maybe even fasting you know guys and and um and then all of a sudden you know you know God will use you to resolve this situation you know guys Jesus said my sheep they hear my voice and they follow me and they don't listen to strangers and I give them eternal life and no one can snatch them out of my hands obviously you know you need to know God's voice and be led by God's spirit you know guys because you know guys the devil is also speaking giving us thoughts you know guys giving us thoughts you know guys always to do the wrong thing so take this message you know apply wisdom to it and apply being led by God but I want to share in this testimony that God can answer your prayer through yourself by dealing with such situations like I was talking about like you know you know standing up for what is right you know guys and um, standing up for what is right for other people is just as important as standing up for what is right for you you know guys and some of you you know guys I want to encourage you stand up for what is right you know guys especially this is a new year you know guys and um, some people are being abused you know guys for, for long periods of time and they don't have to be in abusive relationships some people are in workplaces where people are abusing them and being rude to them and they don't have to be in that workplace some people are being bullied at school and they don't have to be bullied at that school you know guys some people are living around people who are trying to abuse them and be rude and you know if you just stood up for yourself and spoke the truth that situation could easily change or God might take you out of that situation I know this message is for someone tonight please don't confuse what I'm saying in this message I'm not talking vengeance belongs to the Lord 
you know guys but you know guys we the, we serve the god of abraham isaac and jacob the god of joshua the god of caleb the god of david the god of samuel the god of samson the god of peter you know guys we serve an amazing god you know guys and um, we can't put god in a box hallelujah praise the lord you know guys i all encu i'd encourage all of you to watch a movie called the machine gun preacher you know guys this this preacher you know saves all these children you know guys and it's just another way of showing that even in the new testament that god you know is the same god of the old as in the new you know guys hallelujah obviously it's a new covenant you know guys and two new commands well two commands love god first and love your neighbor second so jesus loves you thanks for watching guys be bold as a lion use wisdom be led by god and god bless you bye